Okay. Learning to go backwards. The best way I found that for me was my garage here. It's what, about 30 feet long? I did about two miles going back and forth inside a 30 foot garage. So you work out how many times is going back and forth before it clicked. And I found out the easiest way was I would start here and I would just push and first time I would fall off within a foot then I would go back same thing again and I would fall off I kept doing it until I could go back further and further and then I would start from here, for example, go there, and gently, as, as you get near the wall, just put your hands and push back. I did this until I could go back as far as the end of the garage. And then, once I could do that, I went to a big parking lot and just did the same thing without the wall. Your brain, for some reason, picks it up. You come here, gently push. Obviously, it helps if you don't have anything in front of the wall, so you can just go all the way up to the wall. Chichi, come on, move. I'm going to go over you, boy. Here. So you come over. Here. Push back. And go over. And then eventually, you just your brain will just pick it up. Then once you uh, learn to go backwards under control, what you can do is pick an area, like say eight foot uh, circle, and try to stay within that circle. And then as you get better, make the, smaller, uh, make the circle smaller. So, yeah. so pick that, then you go forward, and then make the circle small. That's it. Hope it helps.